Hi Joshua and you're watching 610 Bob's Builds where I walk you through some of my creations. In this episode I'll be showing you the supply and return lines for the water cooled server rack. Oh and sorry in advance for the lack of video in this episode. I got a head strap for my GoPro but it kind of turned out like this. Yeah, it looks like I was banned and had a timeout in the itchy corner of insulation. The supply and return lines start at the wall behind the server. I am using a garden hose to go from the server to the wall. Why a garden hose? Because the garden hose will go to two boiler drain spigots. Now does it make sense? No? Oh, uh... I needed a way to terminate the coolant lines at the wall. The thing that made the most sense was a boiler drain spigot. This would allow me to quickly disconnect the tubing and shut off the water. Well, shut off the water, then disconnect the spigot. Proper order in these matters is important. Also, if you're wondering what a boiler drain spigot is, it's like a garden hose spigot but it uses a ball valve to decrease resistance. The spigots are mounted to a piece of wood that sits behind the drywall. This will give the spigots rigidity. This piece of wood has two holes in it that allow the tubing to pass through it. And then the spigot gets jammed into the wall and the screw is driven through the sheetrock into the wooden backplate. I did have a little trouble with the one spigot. The tubing was hitting the back of the wall and the hole in the wooden backplate was a little big. This made it difficult to get a screw to bite. So I am using Fosta PEX. We call it aluminum PEX or simply the silver PEX for the supply and return lines. I'm using PEX because it's way easier than sweating hard copper. And I'm using Fosta PEX because it provides an oxygen barrier. What is an oxygen barrier? Well, it's a barrier to prevent oxygen, duh. Unlike a copper, well, usually unlike copper, PEX allows oxygen to pass from the air to the water. This isn't a problem with sink or shower water, but with circulating water, this oxygen can lead to oxidation. So basically, Fosta PEX will prevent the system from rusting to death. So from the spigot, the PEX goes to a 90, then goes down. Then it goes underneath the joist. Then it goes, what? You didn't see the tubing in the last one? Well, here it is. The tubing is ran underneath the joist. Still don't see it? Well, maybe this will help? No? Fine, you can't see the tubing. I didn't feel like trying to take a picture of the tubing as it was underneath the joist, but trust me, the tubing is there. Anyway, like I was saying, then the tubing shoots through the wall into the basement. In the basement, the tubing part ways. The supply goes into the pump and the return goes into the radiator. Filling up the loop with water was going to be a pain, so I added an injection port. This port is a boiler drain valve. Same thing that's behind the server, just a different mounting style. When I go to fill, I hook up a pump to the spigot, close the valve going to the reservoir, and push the water through the whole system. This will get rid of most of the air. And that's it for the supply and return lines. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Water Cooled Server Rack series. And don't forget to subscribe. Come on, you don't want to miss any of my videos, right?